In this Blender tutorial for beginners, I will show you how I made a rolling scroll animation. I'll first make a low poly scroll using a grid mesh. In the shading workspace, give the scroll a dark yellow material using the hex code A6A069 with a roughness of 1. For some texture, I add a noise texture node. Change the scale to 3. I also add a color ramp node. And choose the dark yellow color for the white color stop. And a slightly darker color for the black color stop. Using the hex code 625. F3E. I apply a simple subdivision surface modifier with a level of 2. Turn on the auto smooth under the normals panel, the object data properties. It's now time for me to add the curve that will be used to produce the animation. Under the curve menu, under the curve spirals menu, I choose the Archimedean type. The popover menu, I change the turns to 4 and the growth radius to 0 0.05. Since I need the curve to be standing on its edge, I rotate it around the y axis by 90 degrees. I then move it off the grid. Make sure that it is placed on the floor. I select the bottom most point of the curve and extrude it along the Y axis to help the plane better conform to the curve. Under the viewport options, check the box for the normals to see which way the normals are facing. They need to face the interior of the curve. Since the normals are facing the wrong way, you need to right click on the curve and choose switch direction. I add a subdivision surface modifier with a level of 2. You can now select the grid and add a curve modifier. For the curve object, I select the spiral curve. The grid should now be attached to the curve. For the deform axis, I choose X. And when I move the grid, it now wraps around the curve. Under the animation tab, I set up my camera angle and my lighting. I'm going to right click on my grid and choose Shade Smooth. Under the Output Properties tab, change the frame rate to 30, frame end to 60. This will give me a two second animation at 30 frames per second. On frame one, I unroll the skull add a keyframe for location and rotation. Frame 60. Scroll the roll back up. Apply keyframe for location and rotation. Ok, 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Have a good day.